Welcome back to Virtual Reality Game Devet. This is the second tutorial video for our friend Sky on the nightly release. Now, uh, one thing I want to point out here, we see uh, not everything has been worked out for full screen. Um, I believe this screen is 1060 by 1200. Um, Make human is set up for 800 by 600 so you see there not everything is set up well for full screen quite yet <clears throat> okay so I actually want to uh, click down there get back to my eyes which is one of the new functions and click green I want green eyes on my character now one thing I noticed uh, last night I made a female model and the uh, green eyes didn't work as well on the female model so uh, note that be careful okay um, let's go ahead and jump to global cam I'm going to zoom him in just a little bit pull him down a little I can see a little bit what I'm working with about the angle I want start changing the settings a little bit or I'm just a little bit younger raise the tone up a bit lower the weight a bit heights right first thing I want to do we will notice this version of our model um, we'll notice a different shape in the neck um, this is actually I think slightly less realistic um, it looks more realistic from the back which is what I think why I think he did this I actually kind of like the structure uh, the basic structure in the shoulders of the model um, in the uh, stable version a little bit better than this so we're gonna have to edit that and make it right make it more realistic to me but the first thing you want to do is click smooth let it load and you will actually see a pretty big difference between the model now finally let's go ahead and undo the smooth and you see that difference let me undo it again doesn't look huge well let me show you again the wireframe version of it click on smooth you see it doubles that wireframe that is definitely twice as realistic as it was before um, that's the model we want to be working with you definitely want the smooth model now if you have a slower computer or you're trying to build a game that runs really fast and you don't want to take time to have extremely realistic humans and whatnot um, yeah you don't want to have the smooth on but for us with virtual reality we use that smoothing function Okay, another thing we can do here is actually change straight from this area, straight in the macro functions, we can actually change uh, what kind of uh, human this is. Change him into a more African. I'm gonna leave him very Anglo. Um, I happen to be Caucasian and fairly Anglo myself. Again, the model I'm making is uh, fairly similar to myself. You can also make him Asian. And you see that uh, changes him to the more Asian features.
Uh, again, I'm going to apologize to anybody who might think any of this is a little stereotypical. Um, please note that this is this program is going for extreme realism. This is not nece some of these things are not necessarily just stereotypes. Um, <clears throat> these are actual physical features that are different um, in people around the world and he is trying to incorporate um, all of the possible features that people have to allow them to create realistic characters as close as he possibly can for um, yourself wherever you are in the world um, he's working his best he is doing his best to try not to be uh, um, to be undiscriminatory and allow everyone the opp opportunity to uh, create a character perfectly realistic to themselves so don't fault him um, for anything like that this is a uh, He's not there yet. This is only an alpha stage program. He has a lot of work to do to include all of the features and basic basic structures of everyone on Earth. You know, humans are very, very um, different people. We have a lot of different basic body structures. So he's trying. Give him time. By the time this program is in its beta stages I'm sure that he will have uh, enough basic body structures to cover most of the planet okay so let's get into our details a little bit again we're gonna note um, genitalia I'm not going to show that off for the sake of YouTube you can guess <clears throat> what that hap what that does to the character you move to the right it goes male you move to the left it goes female and yes they are absolutely 100% realistic also you see a bit of a change um, in the stable release we only saw two different ways to change the breast here we can alter the breast in five different ways. He's making a lot of changes. This program is going to be... I can't stress enough the type of realism he is going for, for in this program. This is absolutely incredible. There is no software in the world for making a human character as realistic and as customizable as this. I would love to actually be able to integrate this specifically into virtual reality and allow people to uh, customize their characters this specifically. Um, however, I can just create all the characters with all the customization options and then put them in that way. So that's what we're going to do. I don't want to steal this uh, fire from him. Because he really has an absolutely incredible program here. Um, nothing in the world like Make Human. I give him all the cred credit in the world for creating something as wonderfully realistic as this. I want to pull in my stomach just a little bit, not out. Now right here we notice uh, some faulty things. Um, this is uh, the nightly version will have even more problems than the regular stable version. Note that. Be prepared for that. Don't be surprised. Little things like this. Okay. Now this is <clears throat> something else we will notice. Um, 
let me go ahead and jump into uh, the face and show you what's supposed to be in these empty boxes. He has changed the scroll menu to show you specifically um, without having to actually describe it in language to save the language functions for all these options. Um, it has shown you graphically exactly what each scroll bar does. Okay. However, not all of them are there. For instance, let me go to like There we go. We see that's these are the images that are supposed to be there. He's not done yet. Give him a chance. He'll get there. What we can do here is actually change um and this is another cool thing right when we click on it it jumps straight to that hand we can actually change the shape and structure of each specific hand um, one by one now for me personally I like quick models I would rather be able to alter my models um, at the same time, be able to work with both hands at the same time. However, what he is going for here is complete and ultimate unlimited customization. So this program is designed for designers. It's not built necessarily just for people like me. Um, when you come in and try to change the right eye, it will literally only change the right eye now. Okay. And you have to click on the left eye and make it match. Now that works really, really well for, uh, designers who want that absolutely perfect realism um, you want to be able to alternate your features completely perfectly and it's not loading and the nightly version doesn't uh, update live and it also pulls out our basic version of the model while we are trying to update it. Um, that's all fine. Things to get used to. Um, it still works. All these functions still work. You see I just squared my uh, chin out a little bit. Um, Look back out left side, see it balances out to the left. I'll leave that in the center. So there's our first little glance at some of the changes in the nightly build. Um, I'm already at 14 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, prepare to get into my next video here. But the last thing I want to point out before I go is uh, things like random. These are new functions that are not quite set up yet. You can actually change all of these. You can actually also set custom functions. You can change and create your own changing functions for this now this program is absolutely incredible it is getting to something unbelievable so I'm about out of time for this video already I'll uh, pick up right where I left off right here I will see you all soon